Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's tackle division. How do we write a sentence into an algebraic expression when it involves division? Well, again, we need to recognize the key word that tells us we're dealing with a division. If we see the number divided by, or the letters I should say, divided by, then yes, that does imply division. The reciprocal of a number also implies division. And the inverse of a number, or in this case the inverse of 3, should also imply division. So reciprocal and inverse imply division. The quotient is the result of a division. So therefore, when we see the word quotient, yes, indeed, we're dealing with division. And we write 3 over 4, or 4 over 3, whatever it may be, that also implies that we can write it in a fraction, and fractions, by default, are divisions. So let's now write the algebraic expression a number divided by 5. So we take a number, we're going to let that represent by x, and then we divide it by 5. Now we can write it like this. This means a number, unknown number x, divided by 5, or we can write this as x over 5. And that's, of course, when we see the word, the word over, that's what that means. The reciprocal of a number. So we write a number, that's x. The reciprocal means 1 over x, so that means 1 over x. That's the reciprocal of the number x. And again, that means we're dividing the number 1 by x. The inverse of 3 is the same as the reciprocal. So in this case, the inverse of 3, we write 1 over 3. The quotient of 4 in a number, and then we see the quotient of a number in 4. Which is which? Well, just like with subtraction or the difference, we write it in the order that we see it. We write a division symbol like this, and then we see which number appears first. So we read the word quotient, which means there's going to be a division. We see 4 and a number. 4 goes first, the number goes last, so it would be 4 divided by x. Or, if we see a number and 4, the number goes first, the 4 goes last, that would be x divided by 4. And that's how we can tell which is which. And so this can be written as 4 over x, or x over 4. And finally, when you see the, words, oh, the word over, that simply means 3 over 4 is 3 over 4, or 3 divided by 4. So, a number divided by another number, or 3 over 4, essentially is the same thing. Write it as a fraction, or write it as a division. And of course, we can then say, well, this is equal to 3 divided by 4. So there's no difference how you state it and how you write it. It both means the same thing, and that's how it's done.